I feel uh, no film works without a certain emotion. Chinna Chinna. <laughs> Anyone asks me if I speak Telugu, I'm like Chinna Chinna. <laughs> then a new director is coming and he's trying to give me instructions because I, in my head, want to play my role in a certain way, and yeah. I've kind of sketched that. I know, okay, I said, okay, this guy is going to behave like this, and then when he comes in, he says, "Varun, you're doing completely the opposite." I said, "I said, <laughs> what?" I had a platform that helped me, that that acted like a stepping stone and helped me, you know. You be accessible to people from right. the industry, so that was great. I got to spend a lot of time with I F personnel even before, but while shooting in Gwalior, I think that is kind of when I actually broke into my character completely. I think two wonderful actors we've had in yes. our country are from the world of pageantry. Yeah. Um, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan and Priyanka Chopra Jonas are wonderful actors. I, mean, I do have a sense of responsibility to to make good cinema because they have carved a very great legacy. I really want to work with Sandeep Reddy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. I, I, I love Rajmouli sir. I mean, yes. and I love this. Uh, I love Sukumar sir, sir from Telugu, and I like Rajkumar Yani Gar too. Yeah. The common love for one thing, and that's our country. Hi, this is Sheetal Shinoy, and you are watching Pink Villa. Joining me in the conversation today, we have the amazing cast of uh, Operation Valentine. Let's welcome the one and only Varun Tej and Manushi Chiller. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. <laughs> Long day, I'm Been guessing, good. right? Yeah. yeah. You know, I want to yeah. start off by mentioning that uh, I'm so looking forward to the movie because I love the teaser. Thank There's thank this you. one line that gave me goosebumps. Uh, any idea which line that is? Gandhi ji, Nita ji, yeah, that's yeah. the one, right? Oh my God, I can't it's, wait to watch the movie. I love the line too. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, I want to start off by asking, uh, as actors for both of you, hmm. when you're reading a script or you're going through a narration, what is that primary element you look for before saying yes? We'll start with you, Varun. I think uh, primary is probably the emotion behind it. Uh, hmm. I feel uh, no film works without a certain emotion. Even if it's a comedy or anything, there has to be a sublime emotion in every film. Right. I think for me, with Operation Valentine, it is uh, that emotion that an Air Force pilot goes to. Uh, uh, it is. Uh, I mean, the thing is, even though it's based on a true event, uh, that is not what we're trying to focus on. Uh, we're trying to show the lives of how the IFS, IF personnel are, and how how they function on a day-to-day -day basis. Especially around this incident or during that uh, phase, so that 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 straight up that emotion, it's the conflict of the film. It's definitely how passionate the director is about making this, um, and obviously about playing an Air Force pilot was something very exciting for yeah. me uh, as an actor. And but it's a culmination of all of these things put together. I said, okay, you know what? Probably, and even in Telugu for that matter, it's probably the first. It is the first aerial combat film. Yeah. So that kind of. Uh, Had an extra push uh, on me picking this up. Wow! And for you, um, it's a combination of things. Of course, uh, like Varun said, the emotion is important. The intention, the intent of the film is very important. Uh, but my number one reason would be very selfish. It's what I can learn from that project. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's simply uh, you know how I can grow and what I can learn through that role, uh, what I can explore, and that's what I've been trying to do. Yeah. You know, uh, talking about the director himself, how was it working with him? And considering this is his debut, hmm. right. were there any inhibitions for you as an actor before taking the script up? Uh, luckily, we had to. Uh, so he actually shot a short. He he shot a uh, six-minute clip um, prior to the film, hmm. uh, which was like a show reel of his. I mean, that was I don't know why he shot it, but uh, it worked out uh, to his good. Yeah. So we saw we saw the sh uh, show reel and uh, we understood that he. Was he knew what he was doing? Uh, I mean, definitely, it's a large format thing what we're getting into, but that is um, uh, that gives us a little confidence about what this guy can do, yeah. and uh, definitely he he uh, he stood by that and he uh, was very good on set. Obviously, the set control and all of that you learn with time. Uh, uh, but initially, see me because I'm like twelve, thirteen films old. Yeah. Uh, uh, When a new director is coming in, he's trying to give me instructions because I, in my head, want to play my role in a certain yes, way, and yeah. I've kind of sketched that. I know, okay, I said, okay, this guy is going to behave like this, and then when he comes in, he says, "Varun, you're doing completely the opposite." I said, "I said, <laughs> what?" <laughs> and, and Shakti says, says and said that to us. Shakti often. has a problem; is uh, he's very bad at articulating things. Okay? <laughs> so he can't get it right. So we were like, I, I never understood that. I thought he was just being offensive. <laughs> But uh, later I understood. Then I I said, okay, let's give in to this guy. Mm. 
uh, even though he's a new guy, he has a vision and he knows what he wants out of the script. Uh, so then I kind of surrendered to him, gave him what he wanted. And he's very clear uh, with yeah. what he wants. Yeah. Like there's no room for interpretation. Yeah. <laughs> and when he finally saw the output, it kind of, I knew what he was asking or what he was behind yeah. that day. And I think um, it, it's ultimately going to help me because yeah. they're going to see your act is good. True, true. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's, uh, we're lucky he's yeah. done a good job. And from the very beginning, uh, you know, with, with like how he also spoke about uh, you know, him just being a director who was so much into the subject and <coughs> who was so attached to the script and he's worked very hard. Yeah. So, uh, so, so when, when you see someone, you know, you want to work with people like this and uh, you want to work with people who are so sincere and so dedicated towards yeah. their work. And it's so well translated on screen also, right. you know, it's visible. On that note, I want to know, uh, individually, how has the prep been for your roles? Amanda, she will start off with you. And also, Varun, I want to know, that uh, you have spoken to a lot of I, real yeah. heroes, right? IF officers. So, how was that process like? The prep was a combination of many things. Uh, firstly, the language, language because it was very new. Uh, I obviously cannot make a conversation in Telugu. I think I can understand a little bit now. Okay. But uh, is there a favorite word? <laughs> Chinna. Chinna. <laughs> chinna, chinna. <laughs> Anyone asks me if I speak Telugu, I'm like, Chinna, Chinna. <laughs> but uh, no, 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 Ledu. <laughs> Ledu. 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 Uh, understanding what she's saying, why she's saying, there is a conflict back home and conflict at work. Yeah. Uh, so it was a lot of discussion around that, uh, picking up uh, how to, so I'm playing a radar controller and there's a tone in which you give commands right. and uh, you know beyond a point, even if you're, you're angry, th you can't, th there's a certain decorum that you have to maintain. So uh, you know how to kind of balance that out with being able to show the audience what emotion you are feeling, but at the same time not uh, you know, maintaining that decorum. decorum yeah. So I think those few things, uh, you know, Shakti used to come to Bombay uh, with his co-writer and, uh, you know, we'd, we'd uh, he would, we would sit and we'd do a lot, like a lot of readings, a lot of discussion, yeah. um, understanding simple things like I, I didn't know about the, I didn't know what an AWAC is. Or okay, yeah. Just, just no, un we understanding. Learned, we learned a lot of <laughs> things. We learned a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, you know, just, just, just those, just learning, uh, you know, uh, the nitty gritties of, you know, what, makes you look right. like an Air Force, Air Force officer, officer yeah. and then and you know and then generally how you work how you prep for a project all of that yeah. and for you Varun? I mean there was there were three different um, things to uh, for getting getting the character right one was obviously the physical part of it where right. we had to look the part yeah I mean there was there were, I mean there were hours spent in the gym and eating the right food and all of that and uh, okay that was at least the easier part I mean, right. I mean the mentally getting into the right shoes of an Air Force pilot is uh, something that we haven't experienced or seen. I mean, probably seen a couple of a few films. Uh, luckily, the time that we got to spend with the Air Force officers, uh, the fighter pilots, yeah. who uh, it it really kind of helped us to understand how to play this character. Uh, and honestly, Shakti really did a lot of uh, homework for us, oh, which yeah. kind of made our job a little easy. Uh, but. We, we got we got to spend a lot of time with IF personnel even before but while shooting in Gwalior I think that is kind of when I actually broke into my character completely okay. uh, wearing the wearing the overhauls uh, spending like hours on the a base kind of, I don't know what moment was it when I broke into the character but I think that happened in the very early stages of the film uh, and we got to spend a lot of time with them I think it's not just one thing that Put you in the shoes of the uh, character that was playing. A bunch of things bunch together, of, yeah. and it was it was crazy. It was a great journey, though. Yeah, and I'm sure just wearing that uniform itself yes. is such a feel. It's such a different it's such feeling, an honor, right? Such an I honor. Mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Manish, I want to ask you: from the world of pageantry to acting, right now, how has the transition journey been for you? It's like starting something completely new, something very different, um, and it's been fun. Yeah. It's been fun so far. Um, fortunately, I already. You know, I, I had a platform that helped me, uh, that, that acted like a stepping stone and helped me, you know, you be accessible to people from right. the industry. So that was great. But uh, for me, it was starting something so different, uh, so new. 
um, pageantry is about being your best version. Yeah. Here you're supposed to be someone else. The character. So, yeah. <laughs> so it was it was like learning a new skill set uh, yeah. altogether. And uh, and you know, pageantry and acting are two very different things. Pageant right. like Miss World is a role that you play for a year. Yeah. Acting is a is a career. It's a profession. Yeah. So, so it was me starting this uh, my journey into a new profession. Right. But do you ever feel that you might get typecast that okay she's from the world of pageantry, uh, not very sure about how you have to prove yourself as an actor. So do you get that? A lot I think or? I think two wonderful actors we've had in yes. our country are from the world of pageantry. Yeah. Um, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan and Priyanka Chopra Jonas are wonderful actors. We all look up to them, and they are from the world of pageantry. Yeah. So I don't think there's uh, you can generalize like that. um and they have they have done wonderful as actors right so uh, so i don't think so they, see of course there's there is always going to be a certain i mean they have left a legacy and there's always going to be a certain comparison but um i only started out and i have my own journey yeah. and uh, i feel that uh, you know i i had my own journey at miss world it wasn't that i never tried to replicate what someone else did and and even here i'm not trying to replicate what someone else is doing i'm i'm, I'm trying to do my own okay, thing and figure yeah. it out on my own <laughs> Yeah, so 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 I I guess maybe maybe there will be people who would want want to put you in a certain box and and yeah. in a certain bracket, which is but natural. But I I only just started. I feel with more work coming out and me doing more work and people seeing me as an actor, things things yeah. will change. And I think we've loved your journey so far, and we can't wait to see more magic on screen from yours. Thank you. <laughs> Anu, I want to ask you. Uh, since you come from a family of uh, stars and actors, right? 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 Do you feel it's a sense of responsibility that you carry forward, or is that is it a pressurizing thing for you? I mean, there was I told you there was just pressure only in the beginning stages of my career, right. probably my first film. Mm -hmm. I mean, later I uh, I learned not to take that pressure because you cannot function properly in this field, especially with uh, having something like that over your shoulder. Yeah. And uh, my family has been really kind in that way because they pushed me to explore and they kind of never forced me to. Uh, pick scripts, so they never handheld and you know ma managed my career. They let me be. I think that is the reason why I found uh, a, a stable ground in the early stages of my career. I mean, obviously there there flops and hits and all of that, but uh, that sense of responsibility. I mean, I do have a sense of responsibility to to make good cinema because they've carved a very great legacy. Uh, but towards the end of it, when I go home, when I go home and sleep, okay, I just don't want to. Uh, back in my head, I don't want to feel like I haven't given my hundred percent to yeah. the job I was assigned to. Uh, if I've given my hundred percent, uh, that's that's all want. That's going to give me some satisfaction. Yeah, that's good for you. Yeah. yeah. And as actors, uh, how important is box office numbers to both of you? I mean, it it is a part of what we do. But, yeah, it is. It is part. Uh, but at the same time, it's not like you know. I mean, that that that's what that's how I look at it. Um, when you're attached to a certain project, and there's so many people who work hard on that project. you do want you do want that for that project to be known as a successful project you want people to make money uh, off of it uh, but as an actor what you have in your hands is to do your best Job, yeah, yeah. Uh, you i i don't think i alone can sit in control the outcome of a film uh, but yes because you are attached to that film you want people who are attached to that film to benefit from it obviously yeah, yeah. And now that you've cross debuted in each other's uh, <laughs> industry, cross debut. I like this. I like yeah. this term. Yeah. Uh, is there any particular director you want to work with next? Ooh, I really want to work with Sandeep Reddy. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like a bunch of directors. I mean, uh, you can name one. Uh, my favorite. I love Rajmouli sir. I mean, yeah. and I love this. Uh, I love Sukumar sir from Telugu, and I like Rajkumar Hyangi sir too. Yeah. Yeah. Bunch of That's going to yeah. be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> as a as an actor for you, Varun, uh, how do you see your growth, yeah. and what is that one thing that you've learned from Operation Valentine? Um, I mean, as in growth, I I have always believed that uh, when I got into the industry, I I knew I was in this not for a year or two. I knew I was here for the long haul, mm -hmm. and I never ran behind a a, a fast. Uh, is on i just wanted to, um so the path they chose was i wanted to be very different when people mm -hmm. pointed out saying why why are you going towards these experimental films yeah. and all of that uh but i somehow thought as you mentioned earlier people in this industry are often stereotyped, stereotyped to yeah. certain roles and when i knew that i'm here for a long time and i want to have a long career as an actor i thought it's only right for me to experiment and make sure that you know uh 
try different kind of roles and not be stereotyped. I mean, that's the only way you can not be stereotyped. Because you keep offering different roles. Make sure if you do the same role again, again, people want to see you for the same thing. Right. Yeah. Like, so I made sure I put an effort. I said, okay, no, I'm going to be different. I'm going to try out different things. Obviously, people like me doing a certain stuff probably more than the other. But I think with uh, time, as time passes, I am going to find a middle ground, understand what works, what doesn't, and then probably... But right now, I'm still experimenting. I'm very happy. I, I mean, I love the the risks involved in this too. <laughs> and with yeah. Operation Valentine, I mean, I'm, I'm glad I finally made this movie because I'm, mm -hmm. I've always been a fan of uh, war films. Yeah. Uh, but I never got... I mean, I did play a war film do my second film, but th this is an all-out action. Yeah, yeah, completely different. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I learned a bunch of stuff. I mean, as I told you, um, learning, unlearning a few things, uh, learning. I mean, for me, I think I kind of uh, learned some discipline from this um, when I uh, indulged in conversations with the IF personnel and all of that, seeing their uh, days and all of that. I think I kind of uh, learned a thing or two from them. How to be disciplined and how to be, uh, uh, how to justify your work and like not waver around other yeah. things. You know, uh, talking about this movie in particular, uh, we saw that the recent release, right? Fighter. Yeah. Not going to compare it because it's two different movies. Right. But mm -hmm. it's based on, the concept is a little similar because of mm -hmm. the IF right. being a part of it, right? So I want to ask you, how different is Operation Valentine going to be from any movie that's been released in this genre? Uh, I know how ours go is going to be different, yeah. not from them, I mean, because yeah, I yeah. haven't seen right. uh, the no film, problem. only reason. Um, I think here, we are we are not trying to uh, glorify the and play only around the incident right. of uh, Balakot mm -hmm. or what happened mm -hmm. on 14th of February. Uh, that is only the key part of the film, yeah. the, uh, the point of the film. So we're morely, we're mostly going around the personal, the life of the Air Force, uh, the Forge people yeah. are, were working there. So we want to dwell, uh, indulge into their personal space about how, it's not about how a pilot feels when he's uh, in an aircraft, sitting in the cockpit and flying at 2,000 kilometers. Uh, we wanted to even deal with uh, his emotions back at home, right. uh, how he takes his work pleasure home and how he deals with that. And a bunch of other things. We want to go on a more human realistic approach uh, towards the IAF and the entire process. Right, yeah. You know, this question is to both of you, uh, mm. that when patriotic movies are made, right. the audience has a huge expectation from it, right? So does this expectation come with a certain pressure for you as actors? I mean, we are patriots ourselves. I think it comes with a lot of love for making a film like this. Right. And you want, you also want to, of course, you, you want to be careful, you want to send out the right messaging. Right. So all, all of that is a part of it, but I don't think there's some crazy amount of pressure. I think we've done that work before even starting because right. uh, we're nowhere we're going to show mm -hmm. someone in a bad light or, you know, have the right opinion about what this film is. Mm -hmm. I think the director would have more pressure than us. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. I mean, the intention was, uh, you know, the intention was to make something good and make something about the true heroes of our country. Yes, so. absolutely. We're optimistic. Something that people <laughs> can be inspired of too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, how, how was it on the sets when you guys met for the first time? I, I absolutely love this pairing, I must say. And uh, hopefully there are more movies coming up with Varun and Manushi together. But how did you guys meet for the first time? Uh, <laughs> we met on set. <laughs> we, we met on, on set. So we had no, we to... met for a reading before that. But oh, we'd already... Yeah. We'd yeah, already yeah, 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 so yeah, the correct. funny thing is that we started our... The, the, the film, we started Operation Valentine on different schedules. So we never met till we had shot like... Oh. So we just met we for the reading and we went, our, se went. our separate parts. Yeah, yeah. And then we met for a reading, and that's and then we started shooting for the parts that we had to shoot for together. Right. Wow. So the day one, yeah, we had a very intense scene, and we kind of made yeah, a, Shakti just you, threw us into threw that us scene. Into it. Uh, we took our time to crawl out of that, but uh, in a couple of days, we got along and it was easy. I think because of that intensity, I think we kind of the eyes broke and all yeah. of that. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Lastly, uh, as actors, as Varun and Manushi, I want to understand what does patriotism mean to both of you? Well, it's it's of course a feeling that we've all grown up with. Uh, it's the feeling of belonging to something which is so much bigger than just yourself, uh, and it's it's a common love for one thing, and that's our country. I mean, yeah, it is it is the love for one's uh, country, and for me, it's 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 more about uh, the respect that you have towards uh, people who've actually paved this yeah. uh, path for us, the, the freedom fighters and all of that, or the the real heroes who are fighting at the border. I think for me that is, uh, that is patriotism in a way, yeah. 
Wow, that is amazing. Mm. Thank you so much for such a lovely conversation. Thank you. All the very best and thank uh, you. I can't wait to watch it. First of March. Mm. Thank, thank you. you.